Welcome to another Harris Elmore Angelo Library Podcast with me, Ariel and Sierra. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, so, so much. I know. It, I, I have to I laugh. Mean, I was listening to a, a podcast this morning, not ours, somebody else's. And they do like this big intro and everything. And then somebody like starts talking and he introduces his hosts and stuff. And then there's just like silence. And I'm like, oh, we do the same thing. Like we just can't get into that initial small talk. Oh, sometimes it's hard because you like say your, your intro and then you're like, yeah, we're here. We made it. Yeah. Well, we were like already talking to each other before we hit record. And then we hit record and we're like, well... We already said all that, or maybe it was something we didn't want to say to you guys. I don't know. So, got, you know, there's a lot going on. We finished uh, summer reading. We did. I'm actually kind of happy it's over. Um, so it's it can be a lot between the planning, the executing, making sure everybody picks up their prizes because we want them to get their prizes, which we have plenty of stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. We still have stuff. Um, I feel like numbers were kind of down this year. I don't know if people mm-hmm. are still just being safe and not coming into places or for, you know, whatever the reason is. Um, it just seemed a little down. I just get wore out. I don't know if it's just like the, you've seen the same decorations and the same prize basket sitting in the corner for two and a half months that you're just like, I'm tired of looking at it. I just get, <laughs> I just get tired of looking at summer reading stuff. Like, I'm just glad when it's over. <laughs> It definitely takes a lot of energy. It's fun to do, but you're happy when it's, then you get a nice mm-hmm. little break. Yeah, I love the start of it, but I'm so ready for it to be over when it's done. <sighs> then I'm like, I'm ready to think about like school because everything feels fresh and new. Um, I used to love going to the store with my mom uh, when it was like the school year. We would like buy folders and like notebooks and everything Aww, smelled yeah. like new paper. God, it was such a good smell. So I love that. I love school because it reminds me of like the fresh smell of paper. Um, I always like covering my textbooks. So like with the brown paper bag. Oh, a lot of draw? kids like yes, stickers, oh, tape, yes. what have you. That's fun. <laughs> no, I can't say I ever did that, but that sounds awesome. I loved it better than the elastic stuff I mean sure it was cool because you just like slipped it on your book and called it a day but I don't know it makes it way more personal so I actually haven't looked at Walmart I probably should have but my I have a book at home that it's cover is like a fake leather and it's just like chipping in pieces like it's peeling off around all the edges and stuff so I was looking at all the stores for one of those like just slip on covers and I can't find them anywhere Really? So I don't know if I like yeah. just wasn't looking at the right stores, but I couldn't find them. Maybe they don't make them anymore. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, why? I used to see them all the time as a kid. Yeah. And now that I want one, I can't find one. Wow. I know. <laughs> That's garbage. Huh. <sighs> I guess I haven't noticed that. I'll have to look when I go to the store. I know, because the first place I went to was BAM, and I'm like, dude, it's a bookstore. They gotta have these things, and I bet they've got really pretty ones, and, like, I'm gonna have my choice, and I asked them, well, at first I said book cover, and they're like, we don't sell those, but you can get those from books manufacturer, if you go online, and I'm like, no, not, like, I'm not looking, like, for a dust cover, not, like, one of those, but, like, you know, like, a fabric book cover, and they're like, oh, did you mean a fabric book cover? I'm like, yeah. What, what did I just say? Yes? And they're like, oh, yeah, we don't sell those. Okay. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Jeez. I know. I didn't realize it'd be such a new commodity. Right? I, huh. I don't know. I just figured those things, it was one of those things where you just, like, see it everywhere and ignore it half your life. So it would just, like, always be there. Huh. It's not. It surely isn't. Mm -mm. Huh. The more you know. All right. Another reason to go back in time. 
Mm -hmm. I need a couple of those just, you know, to have on hand, I guess. <laughs> wow. Crazy stuff. Mm, but, speaking you of know. crazy. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy, I'm going to tell you what I've been reading. This book is insane. So I, had a page, I had a patron recommend this book. It's called A Stranger on the Beach by Michelle Campbell. And at first it was kind of like, oh, okay, kind of hard to get into. And all of a sudden it just like maybe a quarter of the way in, it did not make any sense to me where it was like back and forth between the characters. And you can tell somebody's lying, but you don't really know uh, who's lying because yeah. you like both get their perspectives. And I'm like, what is going on? Things have hit the fan. Oh, no. I only have three hours of my audiobook. You know, there's cold blood murder. You know, there's just some. Oh, I don't know how it's going to end. So now I'm like kind of getting like hooked to the book. So I'm like, oh, good. I got to finish this now. Oh, that so sounds like, fun. I love that. I, I love getting that drawn into a book. Uh, yeah, somebody's crazy. I'm not sure who it is yet, but somebody's crazy in this book. <laughs> you ever just like try to guess and see if you're right? And she'd be like, yep, I saw that coming. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of have this hunch that maybe, I think it's the guy in the book that he might be, this could be a spoiler alert, I don't know, um, for those listening and watching, since I haven't actually finished the book, but my hunch is maybe, like, the guy doesn't remember what happens, because he has um, mm -hmm. many, like, another personality. Oh, so, like, it kind of reminds me of that, where typically when they switch over to their other persona, yeah. they don't recall what they did in that persona if they go back to a different one. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's the case. I'm going to write this down. I want to read this book. It sounds interesting. What did you yeah, say? I was I like, was... A Stranger like, on the Beach. Yes. Yeah, because it was kind of, it starts off kind of... It starts off kind of scandalous, though. They, this lady finds out, like, she needs to file for divorce, so she has a one-night stand, and that's where it goes bananas with this guy. Um, and I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, well, yeah, you're just not supposed to do that. Bad things come mm -hmm. on. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, oh, no. This sounds so better than the thing I'm... I just started a new book. And it's, like, it's a good series. Um... But it's been like two years since I read the first book. So there's certain things that they're like hinting at. And I'm like, oh, I don't even remember what happened in the first book. So my brain's just struggling to catch up a little bit. Um, that stinks. So to pep things back up a little bit, hopefully, um, I was scrolling through uh, our episodes on Spotify the other day because I was looking, I wanted to actually see, I was looking at, um, like how many people are listening to our episodes and stuff just kind of taking a poll nobody comments on anything um not even our youtube page so i was just looking at numbers here and there um and i realized we started this podcast in june of 2020 and what you're listening to now is the september uh podcast so we already had our June podcast for 2021, and we didn't even realize that we had reached a year mark of doing this podcast. So we missed our first birthday, but the Harris Elmore Genoa Libraries podcast is officially a year and a couple months old. <laughs> so we want to say thank you to all of our listeners that are still listening to us ramble on about stupid stuff sometimes and uh, watching us on our YouTube page and letting us uh, have fun. Yes, thank you. We'll try so to remember perfect. next year, and then we'll have like a big per day party or something. And we'll yeah, I guess it just doesn't feel like a year. I suppose it just goes. This whole past year has gone by fast, so fast. It was kind of hard to keep track of too. I mean, just we started during like pandemic times when we're doing stuff with our masks on and then we got to the point where while well, we're still doing it over zoom so we're not with each other um, so we can have our masks off so it is it's just kind of a weird setup I guess <laughs> so it's hard yeah. to keep track of stuff um we try we do um which is why do you see it on the thing it says Sierra's rant? I'm not really going to go on rant, but I am going to make a quick clarification. Because um, I didn't I really want to call it a correction because it's a clarification. 
um, because somebody had brought it to my attention that in the episode uh, that we did called Explain a Podcast Plot Badly, um, as Errol and I were talking about lit boxes, I was talking about the types of books I put into lit boxes, and I said the words older and 40, Um, and I didn't mean that if you're 40, that makes you old. That's not what I meant. I meant that if you're older than a teenager, then, you know, like in your 30s or 40s, uh, teen books probably aren't that appealing to you. I found that like the majority of people that get my lip boxes are in their 30s or 40s and they don't really like teen books or the teen romance stuff. So there's my rant. And I kind of put it in there because uh, the person who pointed out to me um, and said, like, 40 isn't old. Um, they're regular listeners of the podcast, so I just wanted to give them a hard time about it. <laughs> I um, love it. That'll be fun for them to listen to later. You know who you are, is what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, so many things, mm-hmm. just in life in general. I know I don't read too, too many teen books myself. It depends because sometimes I do, but it depends on the context and because I'm not going to read about how, you know, Jason's trying to date Samantha, but oh, one's a senior and one's a freshman, you know, some yeah, people like that I mean, and it depends. I guess I am, you like. I'm kind of picky with the teen books I read. I don't read like all the new ones that come out and I prefer if they have a little twist in them or something I don't like it if they're just like straight romance like that's all it's about Mm. I I like there to be a a twist a fantasy a loophole something something fun the loophole (laughs) I don't know (laughs) for lack of better words (laughs) I love it well I think we should get to the bread and butter of the podcast this month do it what Tell do you the think? People. Tell oh, yes. the people. Tell the people what we're doing. Oh, man. So this month, we're going to do something a little bit more differently. Going to have a couple more voices on the podcast. Interact with more people. Some people you may know. Some people you may not know. So we're going to play a little game. You know, we like to play games and different things. But it's actually more uh, popular on BBC Radio 1. Now, some of you listening or watching are probably, oh my gosh, I know what this is. Some of you are like, what is she talking about? And some of you may know it better as Unpopular Opinion. Yes. And if you don't know what that is, uh, I would highly encourage you to, to check that out on YouTube someday. It's, it's super fun and interactive, and it's kind of what we wanted to play here today, um, even if we don't have a catchy theme tune. Yeah, um, I had to watch it on YouTube in order to prep for this, because I had to make sure I knew how to play the game, or else it would be kind of silly. I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you see <laughs> the song now? I heard it like once, and I'm like, it's in my brain. It's like embedded. Um, I do not have it memorized, but it is quite catchy. It is. We really wanted to do like a little the, uh, but none of us are really musical, musically talented here. Uh, so we did not. So Nathan, put something yeah. really cool in there and we'll pretend. <laughs> did it do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use so, that? Yeah, it's a sound bite somewhere. Because I sound really enthusiastic. No. Yeah, I like that the end with a yeah, and I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Love it. Um, mm. So we don't have all of the fancy equipment of a radio show, obviously. Or the catchy tune that we just talked about. No. Yeah. So this is how it's going to work for us because we're doing it a little bit differently. So we're recording from Zoom. That's what we normally do. So we have a few people in our waiting room. And we're going to let them know um, when to come in one by one. And then we're going to give them the most unpopular opinion and when they'll discuss for a minute before moving on to either a new unpopular opinion or we'll move on to a new person. So we're going 
to take a minute, get set up with a special guest coming up, and then we're going to jump right back into it. Montage. There she is. There she is. (laughs) Welcome. I, I hope setup was okay. Did it was okay. it somewhat smooth? Yeah, it was. It's okay. Okay. Thanks for joining gonna, us. Yes. Is uh, this is this your, your first podcast too with us? This, Ooh. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> it is. Uh, it'll be fun, I think, to have um, like more coworkers on the podcast because then people get to meet everybody. So um, for those of you that don't know, yeah. Miss Trisha works with me over here in Genoa. So that's where you can see her, <laughs> her beautiful face. I say let's jump into it. Have you seen unpopular opinions before? No. Never? I, did, I didn't uh, know until this was presented to me. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's a YouTube, well, it's not really a channel, but it's on BBC Radio 1. Um, and he okay. does unpopular opinions with people, so they have people call into the radio and present them with an unpopular opinion, which sometimes can be just insane, um, and then we get to discuss that. Okay. Now, um, some people like to give their own unpopular opinion. Um, you definitely don't have to. I have some unpopular opinions that I pulled from the show that I will be more than happy to share with you and then pick your brain a little bit. Okay. So the first one, we'll start with an easy one. Uh, Pineapple belongs on pizza. That's something that you believe? Um, These are just things that, yes. Okay. Yeah. And how do I feel about that? Sure. Yeah, do you... Um, I'm honestly really neutral toward the whole pineapple pizza country. Um, my husband always gets, not always, but he likes pineapple on pizza. So I'll eat it, but like, I'm not going to go out of my way to order it. He will. I don't. It's fine. You know, there, there are worse ways to ruin a pizza, I think, for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's anchovies? Like, yes, he also oh. likes the anchovies. So, oh, Ew. no. That With is, the pineapple? That is, it's not with pineapple. Honestly, try it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like pineapple pizza, but I think, like, teach their own. Like, if you like it, yeah. you eat it. I'll, like, with the ham, I can get with the pineapple and the ham, the Hawaiian kind of thing, but mm-hmm. I don't, I wouldn't go out of my way to order it for sure. Absolutely. This one I pulled from the show um, with Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick, which was cracking me up. Uh, people who drink coffee are weak. <laughs> Um, that might be true. I don't know. I wouldn't, I drink coffee. I am probably weak. Um, (laughs) I honestly don't know many adults who don't drink it. I I know a couple, but they have other, like they drink Mountain Dew or something else worse. So I'm fine. I'll be weak and drink coffee. I don't really care. See, that's what I said. And then Justin Timberlake (laughs) was like, oh, well, you know, I didn't used to drink coffee, but then I had kids. So I Mm -hmm. need the coffee. Mm -hmm. I was like, very valid. And now that I think about it, coffee's really bitter. So, like, I feel like you have to kind of be brutal to drink coffee. That's, see, that's my opinion. Some of the, like, strongest people I know drink coffee every day. That's true. And, like, it's, I don't think it's just, like, physical strength. I think they are, like, mentally The mentally tough, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. so, like, some of the strongest people I know drink coffee all day long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think there's a difference, too. I think there's a difference between black coffee and then like coffee with creamer and sugar. I need to have, even if it's the smallest amount of like creamer, a little sprinkle of sugar, mm-hmm. but straight black is like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. I don't, it's, I yeah. can't do black coffee. No. Nope. Yes, I, I agree that it's probably not good that I need caffeine like the moment I wake up to survive the day. However, maybe that makes me weak, but also somebody who just drinks straight black coffee, that's, I would not want that with them ever. Mm, yes, my, I agree with that. My grandfather <laughs> drank black coffee. Yeah. That's all he ever drank. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> this one's um a funny one to me. Um, I had talked to uh, somebody about Harry Potter because not everybody enjoys Harry Potter is what I have learned in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. So I just made this one up that Harry Potter stinks. 
Okay. What's your opinion on that, Trisha? Um, I don't think it stinks. I just don't like get the hype. I never read it when I was a kid. So I watch the movies a little bit and they're they're like fun, but I definitely don't like get the fandom as much. I think if I was a kid and grew up with it, maybe, but I'm like, mm, it doesn't yeah. make sense to me. <laughs> I feel yeah, I don't I didn't growing up either. I didn't yeah. either. No? <laughs> no, I only read it when I started working here. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So I actually, I can see both ends of the spectrum. Like growing up, my mom never wanted us to read or watch it because witchcraft. Yeah, same. So she was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, it wasn't until I started working here that I'm like, you know what, I'm going to actually read this. And I really like it. But I think there's people that are like obsessed with it. So there are options sure. on mm-hmm. the spectrum. So, yeah. For sure. Do you have any Oh, nope, you you go right <laughs> on ahead. I was just going to ask Richard, do you have any uh, unpopular opinions of your own? Um, not that I can think of now. I was trying to think of something like that most people think is gross that I like, but I can't think of anything. I'm honestly, I don't find myself very like opinionated about stuff. I, you know, as I think as I answered these, it's okay, or you know what I mean? There's nothing that I'm, this is great, and you're crazy for not loving it, or whatever. You know, it's <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, how about this one? Um, as being, identifying as a short person, <laughs> being short is better than being tall. <laughs> No, I think I'd rather be tall. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I've known really, really tall people and some really, really tall people, like it's hard for them. You know what I mean? You can't fit in anything. Oh, you gotta buy like mm-hmm. special shoes, you know, but also being really, really short would probably have the same kind of situation. So I don't, I consider myself right in the middle. I think I'm like the average height for a woman. So I, you know, I haven't really thought about it very much, I guess. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> um, I would just like to be above average. Yeah. I'd be good with that. Yeah. yeah. I, could, I, I could add an inch or two and be happy. Yeah. I definitely don't want to add like a foot though. No, just a couple inches would be fine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just want to be able to reach the tallest part of the cabinet in the mm-hmm. kitchen, you know? Yeah. Without needing a stool. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. You could talk me either way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we wanna see if our second guest is ready? I think so. Move on. Thank you, Trisha, for joining You're us. You're yes, thank you. Thank you. Do, do I leave here? <laughs> yes, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Trisha. Thank you. She's like, I'm out. <laughs> yep. All right. So let's see. Uh, all right. <laughs> So we're moving on to our second guest. We have Beck coming in. And it'll take a minute. Oh, not, not as long as it took Trisha's. I wonder if it's because it was uh, the first one of the day. Maybe. Hello. Well, hello. Welcome. Hello. This is your first time on the podcast, too. Correct. How you, how you doing? Oh, just peachy. Oh, just peachy. <laughs> Have you uh, watched any of Unpopular Opinions on YouTube? I, I have not. Oh my goodness. They're, they're so funny. I'm just going to like send everybody links to these videos when we're done. Is that an unpopular <laughs> opinion to not have watched Unpopular Opinions? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say necessarily no. <laughs> I, won't, I won't hold it against everybody. Okay. Um, but do you, may chance, have some Unpopular Opinions you'd like to share with us? Um... I enjoy ketchup on scrambled eggs. I know that's not popular. <laughs> no, I don't just salsa that. with more sugar. Salsa on eggs is fine. I don't My sister know. does that too. I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. My friend puts sriracha on her eggs. See, that's not too different. 
Yeah, I don't so gross. <laughs> but that's, that's two foods that I don't care for. I don't care for ketchup unless it's on a hamburger, and I don't like eggs. Oh, well, yeah. It doesn't matter what yes. you put on it, then, if you don't like the egg. Strike. Nope. <laughs> I just don't like oh eggs. Now, before um, we give you a couple unpopular opinions that we've pulled, um, for those of you who don't know, Beck works with me here in Genoa. So if you ever want to see him here pick his brain, we're at Genoa. <laughs> <laughs> want to make sure everybody knows who we are. <laughs> and we'll start off with an easy one. I've been giving everybody, uh, do pineapples belong okay. on pizza? Oh heck yeah! As long as you have the con or the uh, toppings that go with it, you can't you put can it on there willy nilly. Anything, but what if we so just have like, like peas and pineapple, like just pineapple? That's not bad. That's good. Oh. Pineapple is actually really good on cold pizza too. Like the next day, mm. really well. Oh, I've never done that. I do like cold pizza. That's <laughs> I sometimes yeah. eat that more than I eat the hot stuff. Absolutely. Now, this is my favorite unpopular opinion that I have. Okay. People who drink coffee are weak. Are weak? Mm -hmm. I saw this on the Anna Kendrick episode with Justin Timberlake, and this was one of the unpopular opinions someone gave. And I was like, I have to include that. <laughs> yeah, disagree. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand the reasoning behind that. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I don't get it. I love coffee. Are oh, they, they just didn't. saying that people who have that caffeine addiction need it because they're weak? Is that what they're saying? I don't I remember think what so. their reasoning was. Does I know, like, um, the response from Justin Timberlake was, oh, I didn't used to always drink coffee until I had kids. And then I was like, I need coffee. He's like, so what oh. if I'm weak? And I'm like, I I enjoy just drinking coffee because of the taste. So right. I think it's delicious. <laughs> I mean, if you enjoy the taste of black coffee, you're definitely not weak. So oh, see, <laughs> I, I, see, Trisha kind of said the same thing. Like, you gotta be a strong person to drink that, and that's nobody you want to mess with. Right. So <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Well, I'm glad we drink a we like to have coffee here at work. So I'm glad none of us are deemed as weak for it <laughs> i would drink coffee more i don't really drink coffee it's pretty yummy oh. this third one is kind of a uh, work related i know some people don't enjoy harry potter so i'd be thought it was funny to have an unpopular opinion of harry potter stinks i mean no, he took a bath in one of the movies. He's at least not that smelly. No, I can like I, tell where your brain was going. I'm like, yeah, he's taking a literally. I'm like, were there showers in the movies? Yeah, there was that bathroom. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, he went in the bathroom that one time to open the <laughs> egg or whatever it was. I do remember, wasn't there some, uh, wasn't there some like pre-canon that the wizards used to use the bathroom in the corner and then just magic it away before they oh, had plumbing probably so that would make the whole castle stink but no no i know where you're going like i don't think the bad i don't think i haven't really read the books but i can understand some people just don't like to like things that are popular i mean i do that in certain like, instances yeah if it's too popular i'm not going to be interested in it like i'm not going to read twilight i'm not going to read I was gonna so say Twilight series. is my example. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like it's like, I'm a huge, a huge werewolf oh. fan. I will watch any B or C movie with werewolves in it, but I never sat down to watch Twilight. I just That's not a real werewolf. Sorry. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was gonna say if the vampires are if the vampires are sparkly, I can't imagine <laughs> the werewolves. <laughs> no. No, not not interested. So I feel that. Oh yeah. <laughs> So shall and we? The last one. Oh, I was just gonna say. I'm just gonna ask. Oh, the last yeah, one you got one. Okay. Yeah, being short is better than being tall. Oh yeah. Oh, disagree. <laughs> I am short. I would much rather be tall. <laughs> that's what we said too. Yeah. yeah. At least a couple inches. I that's mean, all, yeah, that's all I want. I can see the better. argument, but yeah. 
Yeah. You, you don't hit your head on things. And I, if I'm not mistaken, you tend to live a little longer, but I still would I rather. I have heard that. Tall. Oh. I guess good be for able us. To, be able to reach things, be able to see more, you know. That's what, yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I mean. Said. My sister, I don't know if you guys know my sister Stormy, she's fairly short. She's like 5'1", maybe. Um, and there's like a, a struggle there to like right. climb and, you know, get things or you're always looking up at people because everybody's so much taller <laughs> than you. So yeah. I think it's like a real struggle, but she's just like adapted where like she can just climb on top of anything she wants because she can. <laughs> gotcha. I, I she does that. that. She, <laughs> has she climbed on shelves in the store? Like the oh, way absolutely. when I... I was at Walmart yeah. and this guy was like, do you need help? And I'm like on the top shelf, like crawling over the top to get the hands of my apples. And I was like, please, I would love assistance. Thank God he was taller than me. Yeah, see, and now my brother's like taller than everybody. So we're like, oh, can you get that thing? And he'll just like, eh. Like he doesn't have to stretch or nothing. Man. Just reaches everything. Darn tall people. See, I'm I'm a little bit lucky. My shoulders are double jointed, so I could reach a good six inches higher than I should be able to. Oh, see, that's nice. Well, that helps for shelving, but for... It, it doesn't it doesn't make me tall, dark, and handsome. So you know, <laughs> just shoulder a good flexible. Good personality goes a long way. That's true. It, it needs to because I don't have any hair. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Hmm. All right. I got a few more people waiting to come in, I think. So we will okay. move on. But thank you for joining us. Yeah, You're welcome. For thank you for on. having me. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Good luck with the rest of your questions. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye back. Bye. Quick and painless. I think we're moving pretty fairly quick. Did you watch the one? I don't know what it was, but the one guy's like, I like to eat um, on the toilet, like eat breakfast. And <laughs> Who was the whole, guest star on that one? I don't even remember. Did Jen just come in? As I was going to say, unless it's Katie. Oh, oh. it's Miss Abby. Hello, Hello Miss Abby. Hello, so Miss Sierra. Miss Ariel. Yeah. I was going to say, and I'm sure everybody knows Miss Abigail from both Elmore, Genoa. Um, her name is not Jennifer Fording, like it does state. I'm changing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tend to use the same thing. It's okay. But yes, you guys yeah. have like, seen her at movie nights and uh, different booths we've had set up. Um, all of our programming and everything is done by her. And she's been a, a guest on, on the podcast before. So welcome back. Yes, thank you. That was an exciting time last time. <laughs> what was it we were doing last time we played game? I don't know I was so new so I was very nervous and my stomach would not stop growling and it was like very oh very yes, loud you were sitting right next to me and I was kept looking at you like are you okay are you okay I know and I was like don't say anything I'm fine I'm just hungry <laughs> it's like 10 well, o'clock in the morning <laughs> uh, well between that one then we had Nathan Wright on the show oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that for that one, one yeah so good. I'm like a celebrity guest at this point. I know, right? You'll be our, our most uh, our back guest. Thanks. So, do you know what we're uh, doing today? Um, so the coworkers filmed me in a little bit. I obviously know it's unpopular opinions, which I have my fair share of those, and just oh. opinions in general, as oh. you know. <laughs> and then um, they said I would be answering questions, but I'm not sure. That's all I know. Yeah, so Ariel does have a few questions to ask, but if you have a couple opinions, please share. Um, unpopular opinions related to food, I have two. I think ranch is the most repulsive, like, salad dressing just thing on earth. I can't, I can't even watch people pour it on salad because it's like, lettuce is so crisp and beautiful, and then you take this buttermilk and you're just like pouring yogurt and like drowning your your leafy greens i think it's disgusting I think and i don't like dill riot somewhere yeah what the heck did you just do yeah. abigail yeah i don't like dill so like dill in there too it's just really gross I, can, I can't even like look at it um when i get marcos i ask them to take it out and just like replace it with another red sauce because it's so gross. <laughs> uh, 
I'm no. not even upset with that because I'm not a huge fan of ranch you myself. Like ranch I will eat it if it's the only salad dressing, but very minimal on a salad. But Michael loves ranch. Whoa. And I'm like, good, you can have my ranch. Not, I don't even like talking about it. <laughs> we better it's move on so then. Gross. <laughs> I hate it. But like, I like Alfredo, you know what I mean? Like other like, mm. oh, yeah. like creamy like sauces. I think it's really good. I love like cheese, like, but ranch is just a no. But buffalo chicken dip, I can eat it in buffalo chicken dip. Mm. But if I think about it too much, like I really can't. <laughs> That's why I just, I don't know. It's, I'm very minimalistic when it comes to condiments at all. So like any condiment I have to have is like a small portion. So like ranch is okay if you're, you know, dipping chicken in it or something, but that's about it. No. no. Like chicken ranch. <laughs> you're both no. I also, this would be a good one then. Yeah. How about pineapple know. belonging on pizza? I don't think it's bad. I don't necessarily think, really think it like belongs on there, but I've eaten Brussels sprouts on pizza. Those don't belong on there either, but it's delicious. No. What was that really? one thing they were trying it's to so like, good. They were trying to get people to sign petitions about, um, like, was it kiwis on pizza or strawberries on pizza? It was something like that. And they're like, help us kill this because nobody needs this in the world. That is a little oh, they had like a petition. Like a thing. Thing. No, it was like an actual pizza pizza, but it like had kiwis on it or something. And people are like, help us huh. make this stop. This is horrible. <laughs> it's wow. like pizza sacrilege. <laughs> That poor pizza. <laughs> yeah, like that's not a pizza. No. <laughs> I think it went more of like a dessert pizza, but if I don't know, you could do like a strawberry balsamic uh, savory pizza. Some, like mozzarella basil. Yeah, that would be yes. good. Yes. Um, that would be that's good. good. That's not what it was, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you're losing track. Yeah. Well, then I'll jump. What are you trying to fix it? I guess you're you're saying it's okay if they do it right. Right, but not not the wrong way because that's great. But our way is the right way. It's it's okay. Yeah. (laughs) We'll start making pizzas on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pizza making librarians. Why not? I'm sure that'll be really easy to fit on a sign. I mean, that's it's probably never been done before. We're innovators. That's it. Yeah. We wow. wear shop hats all day. We're quitting our jobs. No, I mean, we're yeah. still working here. We just make pizza. Oh, okay. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. Oh. <laughs> all right, give us, a, give us another one. Um, How about people who drink coffee are weak? People who drink coffee are weak? Yeah. Absolutely not. I mean, I am a little weak. <laughs> lift some weights maybe but I am an avid coffee drinker I don't think so I think it's more like the taste of it I feel like it doesn't even help me wake up like I just Mm. all hours of the day I drink it yeah I saw this on one of the unpopular opinion shows and Justin Timberlake was like oh yeah I never used to drink coffee until I had kids he's like that's garbage if I'm weak at least I know I'm happy and I was like yep amen man (laughs) that's funny is it like a difference between like drinking coffee makes you weak because caffeine makes me really sleepy so does it technically make me weak if I have a coffee I have to take a nap after that's an interesting thought maybe that's what they meant when they said it or maybe they use it as a crutch like oh you can't wake up on your own you have to right yeah it's like in the morning Hey, life's tough. Drinking water. You can't just survive on your own. You have to drink water. Wow. You're weak. <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> weak. Weak. <laughs> I love it. How about, really? since, you know, we work at a library, uh, some people enjoy Harry Potter, um, and some people think Harry Potter stinks. How do you, which side of the sidewalk <laughs> yawn? Um... I think it's a little overrated, but I think Mm -hmm. for like the age group that's reading it, I think it's a way to escape. And like, I think it's this magical world and it's very interesting. Like I grew up in that age, like it came out in the late nineties, you know, I was born in 94. So when I was in middle school, it was like still really big. I mean, it's still really big today, but the movies were coming out and there was all the craze. So I never read all of them. I still haven't read all of them. 
same, um, I, same. I have not seen all the movies like I think it's interesting but I think people take it too far but that's a fandom I right like I think a lot of mm-hmm. people take things too far but they latch on to that and they love it and I think it's it's harmless you know I don't think there's any harm that comes from it but I'm just kind of indifferent like I feel like I'm, I'm walking straight down the sidewalk I'm not walking in the grass anywhere I like I like that that's a good <laughs> <Yeah>. explanation <laughs> yep I'm the same way. I enjoy it, but I haven't read all the books and all that stuff. Right. I'm still on book five for those. Oh, I think that's where I am. The older podcast. You have to to get past book five. Come on. It's happening. It's so big in there. I'm in a lull and. It takes a lot to get into. I've read like the first hundred pages and it's still like. "Mm." Yeah. The other ones are really good. Absolutely. Well, how about this one? This is the last one that I've been giving everybody. And being short is better than being tall. I don't know. I've never been tall. I'm just really short. <laughs> Me too. I've been saying, oh, it'd be nice if we could like reach the top shelf in the cabinet. Uh huh. Maybe not having to climb shelves in the grocery store just to get a can. Yeah. I think as a woman, um, depending on how like short and how tall you're talking about, I don't think it's really a big deal. I think if I was a man, it'd be, we'd be having a totally different conversation that they'd say being tall is a lot better than being short, just because like, I think the female gaze, you know what I mean? Or like even the typical male gaze, like you want, you want to be tall, right? Cause that's like what you see and what people are attracted to. Like normally, I guess, like it's never really bothered me. Um, but like, I don't mind being short. I mean, I wish I was a little bit taller just because that would like lean me out. (laughs) Yeah, right. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me at all, like one way or the other. Well, that's that's nice. (laughs) I know we talked about it. I was like, I could do for a couple inches. I don't want to be like too intensely tall, though it would be pretty cool to play basketball for a living. I'd be into that, but right. You'd have to be really tall for that. Yeah, I don't know. I think some people I went to high school with, though, like, were really, really tall. But just because you're tall doesn't mean you're athletic. Yeah. But you can just reach the basket faster than everyone else. <laughs> or better. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, I agree. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, usually sometimes whenever, like, the more length you have, like, I guess, like, the more clumsy you are. You got more to work with, you know what I mean? And you're always tripping over yourself. Yeah. That, that's very true. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah. Got any more parting words before we move to the next person? Um, unpopular opinion number two. <laughs> pickles are awful. They're disgusting. Oh, I agree. I can't stand the smell, the crunch, like bleh. Yeah. another dill. There's dill in there. I think it's dill. Yuck. I, I like you pickles. Pickles are gross. pickles. Oh. Absolutely not. No, I love I other pickle pickles things. for life. No. <laughs> No, Things I like worse. kimchi. I like sauerkraut. I like kombucha. Like I love other fermented things. Pickles are nasty. Mm, love they me are, a good pickle. They are indeed. No, if I like bite into a sandwich and it's got a pickle on it, it's like the saddest sensation in the world. Where you're oh, just if like, I, if I eat a, ruined that whole bite I just took. Ruined. If I eat a fry that is adjacent to a pickle, it has absorbed its aroma. <laughs> I ruins the whole meal. Oh, so is that, it the, the vinegar or is it the texture of the pickle? It's both. Well, the texture it's of the everything. pickle is like gross when I hear people crunching into them, but it's the taste and like the smell of the juice. It's like, but I've never actually like really tried a pickle like I, cause I can't get past the juice. I went to Chick-fil-A once and asked for just a regular chicken sandwich with no pickles. And I know what they did was just open an already made sandwich and peel the pickles off and then give me that sandwich because it tasted like pickles. And I was uh, mad. <laughs> like, no, I know what you did. I can still taste it. Right. But it like you had an into the, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Clearly they're not thinking about that. Chick-fil-A, make people real new sandwiches and ask for no pickles. We don't want that pickle flavor on our chicken. Yuck. For reals. <laughs> that was a good um, one. That was a good one. <laughs> and with that, we'll probably move on to our next person. I got a few more people waiting. So, okay. Thank you, Abigail, for joining Thanks us again. Thanks for stopping in. Yes, thank you for having me. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> All righty. Jen is now here. 
All right, and our next guest is none other than Jennifer Fording. You guys probably remember her from some of our game episodes and last October's episode where she talked all about the ghosties and wonderful spooks about our library. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. And uh, you know what we're doing today? I do. I wish I had some fun headphones too. Oh, I, was, I was really hoping this would be better for like just the audio because I'm recording in this little glass box and it tends to be echoey um, and I, hit, I tend to hit my mic a lot because I move my arms too much <laughs> so I thought if it's up here I won't hit it as much. Nice how many have you had so far? Uh, we've had what four people? Yes. Yeah we've had four people um, so you may be our last hey, you're guest. Four. I think I am. Yep. You want to uh, hit us with a couple of your unpopular opinions? Oh, I have so many. Such a weirdo. <laughs> um, I'll tell you two that I didn't even tell you before. So oh. the first one, a popular opinion, is um, I think I don't understand why people shower in the morning. I think they should shower at night. Huh. Oh, why do you say that? I, I do both. All right. And the reason being, I can't understand how people can go to sleep feeling dirty. I mean, I cannot stand it. I mean, you guys have like sweated all day, you got dirt and you're nasty. And then you're laying in your filth all night until you get up in the morning. And I get people that tell me, oh, no, no, wait. It's because it wakes me up. I can't because if I do it at night, I get I have to stay up then. I'm like, how, you're just a dirt bag. <laughs> <laughs> see I shower in the morning though too because my hair gets really greasy at night so I don't like to look like I'm greasy in the morning when I go in to work or somewhere else so I, I do understand go. that too like if you're sweating at night and things so I guess I'm a two shower person but still the the thing at night I can't understand how do you guys do it oh so yeah I, I'm always I, so tired I I fall right asleep no I only take showers in the morning and well, most people do I'm I, I like it because it like wakes you up and then see I used to take night showers um but I lived with like a bunch of like my family and everything so it was like whatever worked um you know time-wise we had one bathroom um so I started realizing that it worked so much better if I got up early I could take a shower and I wasn't in anybody's way and then I'm like oh I like morning showers that's all I do now um unless I'm like if I get dirty throughout the day or I'm like physically working or for whatever reason then I'll take like a, an afternoon or night shower but I generally don't like night showers because I don't like going to bed with wet hair I have a lot of hair I dry it. and it's no I have I thick hair I have thick hair also you just have to dry it root like super well and then yeah. I, I stay up quite a bit after to let it dry air dry mm, see I don't want to do that because I'm an old lady and I like to go to bed pretty early <laughs> yeah so. I just can't stand the way it feels. <laughs> I mean, I have done occasionally, but <clears throat> usually it's because I'm either so tired or other circumstances. That I mean, yeah, no, I understand. It makes sense. But I'm still just going to take showers in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and, Wait, along that, and along that line, um, what's up with the dry shampoo? Oh, love a dry <laughs> shampoo. I know you do. I know it. Abby does. I know lots of people that do. I, I guess I just don't understand it. I've actually never used it. So is it I think, useful? I don't know. I find it quite useful because even though like you do like a sponge bath in the morning or you're running short on time that you don't want to get in the shower right away, wash your hair. Some people don't like to strip all the natural oils from your hair. So dry shampoo is what absorbs the majority of it. So it's still a healthy amount without mm -hmm. the shampoo like stripping your hair. Does it feel refreshing? Do you do that like every day between showers? Because like Some you don't take a shower do. every day. Some people do. I do not. I don't like it because my hair gets so oily. I can't do it that often. So sometimes it'll be like an alternate, like, oh, I won't do it today, but I'll do it tomorrow. Hmm. And I find that even though you spray it in your hair, it still feels better. You still have to brush it out. And that's what makes it feel clean. I don't know. I've never tried it. I haven't either. So I, should, have a lot I, of should not I shouldn't miss it. But actually, I'm not because I've never tried it. But 
I just, it confuses me because I don't understand how it works. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's me. I don't understand it. It's pretty easy. The only thing is you have to be careful when you spray not to spray it too close to your roots or your hair. Because then it spray? just looks like it's a spray. Or sometimes they're they have what's powder now. But if you put too much on it, it looks like your hair is gray without you. So you have to like rub it in and make sure it's down to the roots so it helps absorb the oils. It sounds like work. A little. But once you try it and if you like it, it's really easy to keep up with. Well, I got another. It's oh. pretty major. I think you might hate me both. You both uh -oh. might hate me. Oh no. Uh oh. I can't think of anybody who dislikes this like I do. Um, oh, <laughs> I boy. think I think that the beach is overrated. You say the beach? The beach. Oh, are you like Anakin? He doesn't <laughs> like sand. You know, I like sand, like walking through it if it's soft on my feet, but it gets everywhere in all of your orifice, even if you don't want it to. I don't like it in oh. the water. Salt water is the worst it, when it, way it feels on you and stuff. And if you get it in your mouth, it's just like disgusting. And then when it dries, you're like crystallized and it makes the sand like stick to you more. Even when you should be wash good since you shower at night. Well, that's not, yeah, but then you have to sit there all day and, and the grossness of it, I just like, mm -hmm. I have a problem with being gross, I guess. And then um, I I feel like if you get like the salt water on you too, it makes you burn more, or at least uh, I it, do. It does, yes, that is. How is this a fun experience, guys? Sell me, sell me on the beach. <laughs> well, I don't really know how to, because I am for one terrified of giant bodies of water. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I hate running into stuff in the ocean too. Something always bumps into me. Well, yeah. Not so, always alive. As I've probably mentioned before um, on one of the previous podcasts, um, that a couple of years ago I went down to Florida for the first time. So I actually got to touch the ocean for the first time. And it was terrifying. I think I went in in my clothes uh, up to my waist and I touched something that looked like a jellyfish and just about lost my mind. Um, so I left. Was it a jellyfish? I think it was. It was a tiny jellyfish. So it did not, it did not sting me. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It did not sting me. It was just squishy. Um, so I left right away. I didn't realize I had this vision of the ocean being clearer and it was just as muddy as it kind of smells me. too. I, or I maybe it's see. just, I don't know. It, I didn't like that. I would just like, hey, I did it. Um, and then on another day when we were down there, um, we just went, it was Sunday morning and we went waiting. So just up to, you know, our calves or whatever. And then we went to church and my sister and I, our legs were just coated white and we're sitting in church and we look gross. <laughs> and I, I don't even remember if we even bothered to try to wash our legs off at one of those washing stations. Got your seat um, boots on. Yeah, no. <laughs> so like, I don't know how to sell you on it. I think I love the sound of it. I love the sound of the waves on the beach, but um, I understand what you mean about tracking sand everywhere. Even places where I was not even exposed. I'm like, how did this even get here? <laughs> it just floats. <laughs> like you step on it and it just scrambles up your body and now you've got sand and everything. So, I like it as an experience. I like being one with nature, floating in the water, seeing all the things, touching the waves, the seaweed, the little fishies. I hate the seaweed. That's, oh God, no. You would probably, you would probably like this lake. It's called Crystal Lake. It's near Beulah, Michigan, I think. And the water is, it's the clearest water I've ever seen. And you so can cold. see like, yeah, you can see all like these little snails and creatures. And then you see a drop off point where oh, like the deeper and then you see this whole seaweed bed. It's so cool. You would love it. And, and then, then you drop to your death. In. Exactly. <laughs> no. Oh, see, that's why the you ocean can... freaks me out. It drops off and it's just darkness. You don't know what's down there. It's not that dark. You can see it. It's in a lake, but it's just cool because you can see the fish swimming throughout the seaweed. They won't come to you because they get freaked out by you, but. It's just neat to see them. I, I think I would enjoy water um, 
more if I could see what's in it and see how clear it was. If I could see the bottom. Yeah, we don't uh, live near any place that has any clear water. No. And see, Other when we went to see so the point, clean. it's still Lake Erie, but we must live in the, like the trash hole of Lake Erie because we do you see you can see the bottom there and it looks really nice. But um it is if you go anywhere around here, it is very gross. It is. Okay, this is what we have. We love this piece of land, dang it. <laughs> I just feel like um you go to any place on the beach where they have like those washing stations. So you know, your feet and your legs are covered in sand. Um, so you go wash them off. But the problem with those is you've just washed off all of your sand onto a clean area. So everybody does that. And now the clean area looks just like the beach. I think there should be like brooms or something. So like when you're done, like push your wet sand off the clean area. So that- Let me get on this, Sierra. You need to sanitize the beach. I'm just saying. Help it's us like, out. <laughs> You wash your legs off and then you're walking through all the wet sand you just washed off or 12 other people just did. It's kind of gross. Or we could just avoid it all together. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny that we talk about it, but like in the back of my mind, I still want to go back because I've only done yeah. one. Yeah. I don't know. Don't deny yourself a fun experience. I go like, to the I beach don't... all the time because my family, they are beach lovers. My immediate family, everybody just loves the beach. I'm just like, oh, I guess here's what I want to all the time. And it, it, I do like the breeze, that's about it. I do like walking in the sand of the soft, but I don't understand. I don't like anything else about it. That like the beach in Ohio, because if you're thinking of Ohio, you're immediately gonna think of Lake Erie, and all of those beaches are pretty much garbage. I've been to lots and of beaches. The sand is gross. You hit most of the beaches around here, and it's those mussels. Oh, that cows. hurts. Yeah, and it's like that's not real sand. There's not a lot of real sand around here. I went to a beach in France one time and it was one of those, it didn't have sand. It was all rocks, like pebble beach mm, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And that hurt. Like I had to wear my shoes into the water and stuff because <laughs> she couldn't walk anywhere. It hurt so bad. I think it, it makes more sense to like beaches if you don't live in Ohio. If you live in Ohio and you love beaches, I don't understand. I've been to other beaches though too. I just, I don't like any aspect of, well, very, very few aspects of the beach. I'd like to experience Sorry, guys. other beaches. I think if I you guess. find the right beaches, there's good beaches around here, but you have to know where to look. That's the catch. You gotta do a so, little research. Let me, a little tell you some beach, let me tell you to some beaches I've been in. They are nice beaches, okay? Like I've been in beaches in Hawaii, beautiful beaches, still feel the same. <laughs> Both coasts, like Florida, North Carolina, um, up in New York, we went to one um, off west coast went to one uh went to one a couple in france uh i went to one in canada uh all the great lake ones i've been to beaches i've been to a lot of beaches <laughs> and maybe that's just scarred me I, I don't i was yeah you've been to too many of them and like all you can think about is the sand I even like the non-sand to, ones i'd like to go and experience <laughs> other beaches just for the experience of it and to say that i have um, but see, I don't, again, understand the draw of it so much of people like, I want to go to the beach again and again, because I'm not going to go swimming because I don't like large bodies of water. So there's not a lot for me to do there. So yeah, I can, we'll just go <clears throat> to the edge of the beach and we'll just watch it. That's all I'm going to do. be involved and we'll yes. just enjoy it from afar. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay. We'll watch Ariel like flip around the waves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Body it's nice out here. Whatever she does. Mm-hmm. Nice and refreshing. And then she but can read my book. And then she can go and um slather herself in dry shampoo and be yes, all clean yes, from yes, the yes, from yes. the from the water. <laughs> no, you do need to bathe after you get in the water. <laughs> at the and station, that's like the best part. Or like, like a real bathe. Day, a day at the beach, then you go home and you bathe. And then you're just like, ah, I'm wore out. And you're just like, it was just a fun day to spend your energy. And then you just fall asleep. It's great. Eat, go to sleep, done. I can't I wait to shower after I go to the beach. I'm like, oh, get all off. And then, and then I feel like horrible because I'm all burnt to a crisp. Because even mm-hmm. though I put some tan lotion on, the salt and the sand just intensified gotta, the, yeah. the effect. You gotta put so much sunscreen on when you're at the beach, um, though. Yeah, do it till you're ghost like. Just mm-hmm. slap it on there. I don't know. What I else? guess I, I guess I don't get it, you know? 
I'm with you. I don't understand the love of beach. But again, I mean, I grew up in Ohio. I, I have I the first time I saw like a real beach was like three years ago. So I think if you grew up with it, there's like a love for it. And I, I can respect that. I can respect people that just adore it. But again, if you're from Ohio, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I think there's other Ohioans. I guess that's why they call it unpopular opinion. There'd be some other that's Ohioans. True. What is she talking See? about? Yeah, both of those exactly. Were, uh, both of those I think are quite unpopular. So there you go. Um, I have an assortment of, <laughs> of food craziness too. Did anybody talk about food stuffs? They did actually. Did anybody um, agree with ones that you know that I am crazy about? <laughs> you don't like donuts. Yeah, no, nobody said anything about donuts. Um, don't add yeah, donuts. You know, I'll eat one in a pinch, like the powdery kind, but I don't really prefer them now. No. It's, I, mean, I think that's un American, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. My mom doesn't like donuts and she also hates ice cream. Oh, you know what? The I mean, tea. It's not a, I, I like ice cream, but it's not like an all time favorite. Like <sighs> Ben has bananas for ice cream ice once every second of his life. So in, good. I know. In fact, I, I, I've been getting, at mellow cream because he wants to go all there all the time and it's like cross mm -hmm. street from our house and i get like the um cookie dough flurry kind of thing but i've been yeah. getting like hot fudge on it but really mm. i just want cookie dough with hot fudge on it i could really just <laughs> take the ice cream out that's how my mom feels <laughs> or just like eat the hot fudge uh, we would go oh. and get like a turtle sundae she's like just do like a dollop of the vanilla ice cream and just a bowl of the toppings because she doesn't like the ice cream she just likes the toppings me and your mom we could just go you guys are like the same some stuff food you're the same opinions. person it's crazy yeah i find that i'm like many people's moms now this is really sad for me <laughs> because abby told me that too she's like oh my gosh I'm like oh my god guys <laughs> we've grown into our mothers what's happened I said, this is like a breaking point, you guys. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what we but, did talk about was um, whether pineapple belongs on pizza. It certainly does not. I, oh, like I know it. you were a fan. I didn't like it as a kid. As an adult, though, I don't think it's a horrible condiment. But that goes with my whole sweet and salty thing. Like, I can't have pineapple on pizzas because it is a sweet fruit and pizza is a salty food and I cannot mix the two together even though that is the un-American thing to do that, that is un-American sweet and salty is amazing like I can't I cannot I have to separate it like a little child <laughs> I cannot yeah I can together. I can eat the pineapple and I can eat the pizza and I can even eat them after each other but I can't have them together oh. like like salty like uh like chocolate covered pretzels or like sweet popcorn even kettle corn i can't do because oh i assume because that's too sweet i love, uh, kettle I love corn sweet bread. like with, sweet breads i think that's why i don't like donuts either i don't know get like kettle corn <laughs> with chocolate drizzle on it oh my god Ooh, amazing. good stuff yeah, amazing well, how about uh, this one people who drink coffee are weak you're are you agreeing with that not what why i've heard that before uh, and yeah but why? What is why? the reasoning behind that? Because you don't need it to sustain yourself. You should be able to, um, you know, get enough pep in your step without it. No caffeine. Yeah, but caffeine. some people don't like use it for pep in their step. I know I just like to drink it. I think it just tastes good. Well, you know my thing on coffee. Like I only drink coffee. It doesn't taste like coffee. Like it has to have so much stuff mm. in it. Like mm. that stuff we got the other day from McDonald's. That was pretty good. I had a lot of caramel in it. <laughs> I always call it like frou-frou coffee. Because for a while, when I started drinking coffee, like in college, I was like, oh, I need a frou-frou coffee. Mm. But now in my aging adulthood, I'm like, ah, yes, coffee. I don't need all the sugar in the frou-frou anymore. I just like the taste of it. So you just do it all black coffee. You are hardcore, girl. I, I don't I, do it hardcore. So I think I like the coffee or like the thought of coffee is like a thing people do where they like get up in the morning. And it's like, oh, that's my morning cup of coffee it like wakes them up or it's just like that's they drink that before isn't that what your shower is breakfast or wake you up yeah that's why i take a shower because i can't have caffeine you need showers <laughs> and coffees i mean i think we have problems no i mean I'm getting other, up in the morning guys yeah, other, other people do no see i can't have coffee in the morning because it would just make me tired 
See, Fine. there's decaf though. Yeah. So you see, still it makes get you the tired. scent and the taste without the caffeine. Yeah, no, I I don't even drink pop or anything with caffeine in it unless I like really want to force myself. But then I have to drink like a gallon of water because I want to counteract the caffeine in my body. I can't mm. let the caffeine take effect or I'll just crash. It just makes me so tired. Okay. So Ariel, since you do drink the coffee mm-hmm. pretty much 24 seven, do you feel like if you- I want to go that hard. <laughs> You do, though. You go that hard. No, I typically have one in the morning. Um, If I don't have one in the morning, sometimes I'll have it in the afternoon. For my second breakfast. Depending on if... (laughs) I know. Well, that's just it. I have had a couple cups before in a day, but I try not to do it that often just because it is quite a bit of caffeine. Tell me more. But sometimes... Yeah, just sometimes (laughs) having that scent and just smelling coffee... Even if I'm having like a struggle bus of a day, I'm just like, mm, coffee it just smells good. It just kind of picks up. I wouldn't say like, I don't want to say like your energy levels, but like your spiritual levels, so, like where you just have that uh, mm, scent. So, so if you know, had to give it up, how do you think you would be? I mean, I guess stronger. if I had like, like, do you mean stronger. like <laughs> caffeine related or just tasting it? Cause I could always I go know. decaf easily. You said, you said the opinion was coffee makes you weak. I, mean, I don't know how this affects you like personally because you're the coffee drinker. I don't know. Nah, I think it, I honestly, I think, I think it's kind of whoever on the show that I pulled this from, I think that they probably haven't had a lot of uh, struggling in their life personally, because I don't really define people that like do certain things as weak or strong. It's more so like if that's what you want to do to make your life tolerable, you enjoy your life more, you're a nicer person, I say get after it. You want to eat that Subway sandwich every Tuesday? Get at it. You want to have that donut every Friday? Get at it. If do you drink what... tea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I typically um, drink tea, though, during the winter. That's like my my mm, drink. So I'll like be cold. I'm like, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Just with a little bit of honey for those antioxidants, and I just like sip it. No, see, it's hot chocolate for me. I drink hot chocolate like every day in the winter. But I've tried tea. I wanted to get into tea because I couldn't have coffee. You gotta put milk and honey in it, otherwise it doesn't just taste like hot water. Even if you put all the spices and stuff in it. Like I, the one time I got, I don't remember what it was. It was like coconut chocolate tea or something, and it tasted good but it was still weak. So next time I made it, I put like four tea packets in it and it still tastes like hot water. That's, why, I don't the, like that's that. why the Brits put so much crap in it because- Yeah, I true. like a richer flavor it. and it just doesn't taste rich. It just Do you more. like cinnamon? I'll put cinnamon and honey in my tea and it adds a uh, stronger, like uh, more spices and stuff. It's really good that way. I like fireball? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean- <laughs> I can tell you it wouldn't burn going down if you had tea. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, so many people doctor their teas and their coffees that way. It's so the Irish way. And then it, <laughs> what they call it. I've never been to Ireland, so I would not know too no, much. No, that's just what they call it. Every time you put alcohol in like a drink, oh, they call yeah, it like Irish, Irish something right. or other. <laughs> I'm just always looking I, for alternative drinks or something. I like different beverages. I'm willing to try anything. At least once. That's... That's the rule. Did anybody talk about like music or pop culture no. or anything like that? No, nobody. Well, we kind we kind of have a uh, culture one because there's a lot of people that like Harry Potter, but then there's also a lot of people that think Harry Potter stinks. My cousin's one of them. She does not understand Harry Potter at all. She's like, I tried to read a book. She only went like half of it. And then she couldn't watch the movies either. All her kids loved it. We all love it. And she's just like, I don't get it. I will say, though, for the first two books, they're pretty spot on for the movies, which I tell people, I'm like, get ready. If you've seen the movies, you're going to read basically word for word what happens. Once you get to the third one, that's when things change. So I try to encourage people at least get to the third book. Because that's when I was like, holy moly, there's so many more details like that you don't get from the third book book and movie oh that's how I feel like you have to read the books because the movies cut so much out so much important details about like Snape and his family and 
just absolutely it's it's so good um, uh we do have uh one more person it looks like in our waiting room Goody. i didn't know if he was gonna make it but he is here so do i gotta leave or can i stay do you, do you want to stay <laughs> <laughs> we can let you stay let me admit him in here uh so we got nathan joining hey. us now too Grass cutter man. Grass cutter man. I bet the yard looks amazing. The lawnmower man. That's a horror movie. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. I think it's got Chris Bros in it, maybe. I don't remember. Really? Search it up. It's an old it's a yeah, 90s I gotta look at it movie. Now. It's a 90s movie. Maybe Early. Seconds. Maybe late 80s. I can't remember. <laughs> to keep up with my boy Pierce. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It is a 1992 sci-fi horror movie. Ooh. With Pierce Brosnan, of course. An eccentric Dr. Lawrence Angelo. Oh, hello, Nathan. You wouldn't believe it, but uh, we're on a rabbit trail. We're looking up the movie. <laughs> Was it really? We were, we were saying because you just mowed the lawn that you're the lawnmower man and it is a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a horror movie. Yeah. It's like the cable guy, right? Uh, I, I don't really know. What I the think cable it's guy a little more details. demonic. Hmm. Um, you might you have, have a snack. Go for uh, it. No, you're fine. <laughs> okay. I don't know how long it will be. I like the way you painted your wall. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. He the painting the butt was fun. Oh, yeah, it was, it was okay. Yeah, you can see Jinx in the background. <laughs> mm -hmm. His little she dog peeking. sitting on his bed. What kind of pendants does she have? I bet there's so much in her mind. So mm -hmm. gosh, she's got some opinions about the. Can you makers? imagine what dogs are thinking Cats. all the time? Oh my god, I think my dog thinks I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's just in a perpetual state of panic. I think I think so. Yeah. Yeah, she'll so. be on shortly. Probably. <laughs> mm, yeah, she'll find something to bark at. But since you've joined us, you probably know what we're doing today. Uh, so you want to hit us with a couple of your unpopular opinions? Uh, sure, I'll start with number one. So uh, I would say that I think cake is better as a breakfast food, is my mm. first unpopular opinion. What, instead of like I a love dessert? That. Why? Well, I guess first for starters, as another unpopular opinion, I'm not really like big into cake. I think it's probably like the lowest tier of like dessert food. Oh, I feel like we cannot know each other. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I feel like it takes like it's hard. It's like so easy to get like bad cake as compared to other desserts. Mm -hmm. Like cake that is, is easier true. to mess up. So, but there's so much good cake. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I love cake. Do you prefer cake or cupcakes? But they're the same thing. Is that an unpopular opinion? They're, yeah, they're not the same thing. No nope. one just has a liner. I mean, you're not wrong. I have to go. Uh, true. Cupcakes are just smaller cakes. No, they're yeah, different. Right. Because like, I feel like an actual cake is more moist, and you get like an extra layer of frosting in the middle. You don't get that with Dude, cupcakes. I think you've had some bad cupcakes. They can be really moist and extra mm. frosting. There are many cakes. Well, here's another coast. Maybe like hostess ones or something. I would rather have a I, slice of cake than a cupcake. Oh, see, I pull the frosting off the cupcake if I don't like the frosting, and I just eat the cake. I do have to say, cupcakes are more convenient because you don't need like a fork or a plate or anything. You can't just pick up a piece of cake with your hands. I mean, oh my you could, gosh, but guys, I, I have to share this with you. My my um, my nephew's girlfriend, she showed me this way to eat a cupcake. It's like life changing. So, um, she because you know. Usually, you have like the frosting on top, and there's just so much cake at the bottom. Like sometimes you just eat the top, top and you go, off and yes, flip it. Yes, you're so she like takes oh. it and cuts it in the middle and like flips over and makes it a sandwich, and it just makes it so much better because then you have frosting everywhere and you don't have to like waste the cake at the bottom because I would never want to eat the cake at the bottom. That's a great idea. That. You know what I do? I eat the bottom first and then I eat the top with the frosting. That's how I and eat. now you can make it a sandwich and it will just be awesome. I'll have to. I would just like to turn back around to Nathan's first comment of cake being eaten in breakfast. It does I taste agree. way better in the morning. Mm -hmm. Totally I agree. So too. I'm not gonna lie, um, I it for breakfast and, and lunch and dinner. Favorite, I was saying all my favorite cakes for the most part are like harvest cake, like banana cake, stuff like that, coffee cake, and those are just kind of yeah. I feel in like, the morning as well. 
Has coffee it? cake a cake? Yeah. Yeah. Know. I'd say so. It uses a cake mix. This is I like, feel like those are way <laughs> more flour. I think those are more of a well, so do pastries. cake anyways. Yeah, so but that's why my like, cake is kind of the way it is, I think. But I also do like, like birthday cake for breakfast that's, is also just fantastic. That's, that's my brain <laughs> too. Because like if we have birthday cake, say late in the day, like you celebrated somebody's birthday and you ate it after dinner or something, I will continually eat that cake for the next couple of days for mm-hmm. breakfast instead of like after a meal. And I swear it tastes better the second time than it ever does the first. It, yeah, I can see that. Oh. I find that with things that like reheating meat, like it tastes worse after you mm-hmm. reheat meat in the microwave. Yes. Sometimes yeah, all the, the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of times I'll just, depending on what the food is, I'll just pull it out of the fridge and eat it cold. But it I'll do that too, just because I don't want to heat it up and make it taste nasty. Oh, I don't do it like that. I just, I think it tastes better. Depending on oh, what yeah, you want to talk about unpopular opinions, <laughs> I was going to say Sierra and my sister Emily, they prefer, uh, so you know, like the, the queso dip that you can get from like Frito-Lay, like the yeah. allergy. Yeah. They prefer it cold as to heating it up. Oh my God, guys. Whoa. Oh, you know what's funny about That's that? That's disgusting. That's a, that would have been good for the show. I didn't even think, I just thought about it. No, I just it remembered that that day that she was eating it cold and you were eating it hot, um, she told me to tell you that I liked it cold better. Oh, so you don't like it cold better? She I, like, I like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Never mind. It's just my sister then. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. I don't she's know good. why she's a crazy she likes person. it cold so much, but I totally forgot about that because she just like tell him you like it my way better. <laughs> so I did. Yeah, I think I went to the bathroom or something. So that may, that's. No, oh my God. Does she like it like away. cold, like in the fridge or like room temperature? Like, no, like she'll pull it straight out of the fridge. And and okay, yeah. <laughs> I think like when you warm it up, it tastes hot. spicier. Oh, it does yeah. taste better. Yeah. yeah. I probably could eat at room temperature. I could eat most things room temperature. I mean, it wasn't bad cold, but yeah, I don't, but... it's probably not my, it's not going to be my first choice. Speaking of room temperature, I have to ask you guys, how do you guys do your water? Like everybody I know thinks I'm crazy because I don't like ice in my, I don't like cold water or th- iced anything. I like at room temperature. Do you have sensitive um, teeth? I do, but that's not the reason. Oh, okay. I prefer it cold, but the majority of the water I drink is room temperature. Depends on how I feel. If I'm yeah, not quiet I'm over there. Water. <laughs> oh, I said that I drink it both. It depends too. They like if I'm, I'm hot, I'm definitely going for a colder, refreshing water. Same. Versus I'm just thirsty, I'll just drink room temperature. It's whatever I have. Yep. They, they think I'm like a heathen. I'm just like, I'm, I don't know. I but they like don't drink. I don't think they drink it with ice, like in Europe and stuff. I feel like if you're like really, really parched and you say, "Dang, I'm so thirsty," it tastes better if it's cold. That's just my also depends to on Nathan. if you have good ice. I think we have bad ice here. Yeah, our, our ice isn't so great. No, it'll leave a funk in your water if you. I definitely don't use it very often. Does the water taste like that? Probably. I mean, I it was kind of an adjustment, I think, for me to get used to the water because I was used to buying Same. at the store. Um, I, I didn't do store water. We just had like our own well. And right. I just really enjoyed the taste of our water. It's a lot different. Yeah. But it's like whatever now. I know. I've gotten used to ours. I can't drink the work water, even though it's filtered. Work water is fine. It's, it's better it's, since no, it got filtered. Nathan, you're going to kick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> Hello. Are there drinks in the background? Uh, no, actually, there's a little girl waving at me from over oh. in the stacks. <laughs> One of our patrons. Wow, so cute. The water here, man. I'm trying to save my, your life. My second yeah. hot take. <laughs> yeah, give, give my second this. unpopular opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, kids mainly dislike veggies because parents can't cook. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. You're like dissing on parents there. So let yeah. me ask you this then in response. So is it okay. because the vegetables are crunchy that the kids don't eat them or because they're mushy? I would say, at least in my case, definitely because it's mushy. Because I swear the default, at least for our, my parents, was like, you just boil it. Everything's boiled. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you can't just eat only boiled veggies because it just, it is just turns, it turns into like a mush. So now that you've like, out, do you like vegetables now? I never really like fully disliked vegetables. I'm just advocating on behalf of kids because I think kids <laughs> don't genuinely hate vegetables like they show in like movies and TV shows and stuff. But like, Having stuff roasted and like do, cooking vegetables in different ways makes it so much better. 
I think so too. I think it probably would taste better. I didn't grow up loving vegetables because I don't like the flavor of most of them and I hate anything with a weird texture that's hard to eat for me. But kind of along the same lines, I feel like most of the veggies my mom would make for dinner was usually canned. And Mm -hmm. after you cook those, they do tend to be kind of mushy. Yeah, lots of frozen mixed veggies in my life. Mm, Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I think the steamed ones are probably better if you get it frozen and steamed them. Yeah. That's probably And season, 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 season. Yes. That's also a thing. No season. Butter. Cheese. Yeah. Um, maybe some <laughs> rosemary, <laughs> garlic, like... onion powder, you know, mm-hmm. salt, pepper, maybe some thyme. Jen maybe a little bit like healthy. Spicy. The healthiness of the veggie, you just put lots of butter and cheese on it. <laughs> Nathan, you should, I don't know if this is on your list, but you should tell that one about the modicons. Oh, oh I that like that. that is like yeah. a most amazing thing I've ever but heard. I can do it. Yeah, we can do it quick. Uh, that like using the normal smiley face at the end of like a statement just feels very passive aggressive. I guess it depends on the age of the person who sends it though, because like if if you're like forty or older, then like it's probably a pass. They just meant like, oh, I meant to be happy. I'm mm-hmm. happy when I say this, <laughs> but it kind of comes <laughs> off as like passive aggressive because of the eyes. I don't know. I, I find I have a really hard time using emojis because like I want to come off as like what my mood is and it's very hard to judge from just like those little picture things so you're like I'm trying I just don't know if it's coming across you never really know if you're coming across what you want to be true I just assume everybody knows what I mean mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So when you put the smiley face on, you're being passive aggressive. (laughs) Not like in real life. Like if you draw like a smiley face in real life, I don't feel like it's passive aggressive. It's only in like in texts or messages. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's because like that's one that is like the first kind of emoji that it's almost overused. Per se. I use that laughing, crying one all the time, like for every single thing in my life. And I read someplace that um, only old people use that. Like the kids like don't use that at all. It's just like an adult. They still use it. I don't know, man, because that really hurt my soul. I'm just getting all kinds of reality checks today, and it's hurting. (laughs) I talk to my younger cousins, and they use that emoji all the time. I wouldn't panic just yet. She's just upset because she relates to our mom so well. It's true. I'm like your mother's, your mother. (laughs) I do have one last one, if you're ready. Yeah. Okay, so my last one is the culture around ads at big events, kind of like the Super Bowl, is kind of weird. I agree. Oh, because like they yeah. only go there and for the ad. Like I only watch it for yeah. the ads. I gotcha. <laughs> like I mean, yeah. I used to be like that, like when I was younger, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird thinking about it now. I definitely agree with you. I don't understand the hype about the commercials when like you can get on YouTube the next day and look them up if you're really curious. They're they're usually there on like a week before the actual Super Bowl. Are yeah, they so really? What's, yeah, yeah. What's the what's the point of watching the entire Super Bowl? I just don't like sports though either. So I mean, that's kind of like a double whammy. Where I'm like, why yeah. would I sit through a whole game of something I don't like to watch? I don't, just, I don't mind the football game. It's just like the commercials aren't even really worth it. You know, well, yeah, yeah, I was but people don't watch not. commercials hardly anymore, anyways, because they stream everything and there's no commercials. Or <laughs> except for Hulu, let's yeah. Be fair. Well, you know, <laughs> they bad. show the same one like fifty annoying. times, so it's not like new commercials. No, I, I just think Hulu it shows that companies should be able to do more with their marketing strategies. Like they pay how many, you know, people to make this awesome commercial that gets people to watch it? Shouldn't you be working right. that hard all year round? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like trying to like treat ads like an art form, which is just kind of mm-hmm. weird in a way. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't feel like the actual like money or profit being made off of the ads is like a thing when it comes to the Super Bowl. Because it's expensive. It's like million dollars for like 15 second ad spot, you know? Yeah, so like, like absolutely. Was it worth more? it? Did they really get that much more like promotional? And people are like, oh, I saw that Super Bowl. I'm going to go buy that thing. Mm-hmm. Doubtful. I'd rather watch the show. Yeah. Before commercials. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. everybody would. I feel That's good. the thing. So I remember commercials used to be all oh, forever. Like I, you could go and you could watch a show and you can go and get some food and come go bathroom, come back. And then the show would be back because the commercials mm-hmm. are so many. Yeah. Now there's not. And yeah. stuff. I did see a commercial the other day on Hulu. 
I don't know, I guess they were trying to, they weren't selling anything. It was just like a, and maybe they should use it to like push like community things or um, things that would help the actual world. I think it was, I don't know if it was Amazon or something like that, but they were saying like which businesses and how and getting people to try to help to end like climate change, like to do their oh, part and yeah. stuff like that. So That's I wouldn't mind things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there's not enough of those ones. It's always promotional or like it's about their business or something. Yeah, but then they also would lose like their like relatability of all the ads where they're like advocating for things. They yeah. should just do the things instead of advocating. Mm. I feel like it's more in their hands, I would say. This is an unpopular opinion. I don't know. It's more in their hands than <laughs> oh, the common yeah. person. Um, for stuff like global yeah. warming and climate change, you know? Absolutely. I mean, they're the ones with crazy amounts of funding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently so, they're donating to its research or whatever. I don't know. Really, I think it's they they need to use their power to because I think they have a huge amount of power over the way people think because mm-hmm. we're so media immersed that I think we could be um, you know, directed in certain ways and they just need to use it for the greater good and not <laughs> True. for silly things <laughs> true true well if you guys want to you know stay on here and finish out the episode with us you're welcome to um ariel and i haven't talked about our own unpopular opinions yet it didn't Ooh, yeah so we did I not mean, I, know, I know your opinions because i remember them from before you know yeah. what my opinions are uh my first one is probably the biggest one i've, I've gotten a lot of flack over most of my life and that is uh, that i think pizza is gross oh man now you have eaten pizza though is it just certain pizzas or all pizza uh i have eaten pizza there are a couple pizzas that i do like um but i just have this like relationship with pizza where almost every single time i eat it i get sick and so i've thrown up pizza so much in my life that i have a hard time looking at it and thinking oh i want to eat that again Mm -hmm. um which I think now might be related to either uh, the crust um, or the red sauce. I, I kind of can't, I cannot eat red sauce. I, I stopped eating sauce in my pizzas because it hurt, because it gave me heartburn so bad. It didn't matter what kind. And yeah. they don't always put too much on. Like I only want just a little bit and they don't ever do it. Yeah, so I just so stopped eating it. I started just getting pizza with like a white sauce on it or something. And those mm. ones don't make me sick as much, but I still, like, I just have a hard time eating pizza. Try it without the sauce. Yeah, of all the fast food places, do you guys feel like, maybe this is just for me, but I swear every single time I eat Pizza Hut, I always regret it later. I feel like it always makes me feel awful later as compared to, like, Marco's or any other, like, local pizza place. I honestly Mm -hmm. think Pizza Hut was the beginning of my hatred towards pizza. That's what I think is a lot. Yeah, when I was younger, we used to eat Pizza Hut all the time and I threw it up every single time we went and then we would still go back and I would eat more and then I would throw up again and it's like I just I hate pizza mm-hmm. and I think pizza we didn't Hut. eat a lot of pizza hut pizza <laughs> so I can't yeah. relate to that one yeah, too that much but we had Marcos Marcos like Marcos I do like, I like Marcos, pizza hut yeah. the best yeah. also mm-hmm. east of Chicago has That's good. amazing pizza if you can find one a CC's pizza oh Ooh. man if you can find one of those mm-hmm. smash it I went there once, but I never. I wanted to get their mac and cheese pizza, but they didn't have any available. I was a little sad. Yeah, that's you know, the jam. How does that work? This is, um, the Stasio's pizza here in Elmore has mac and cheese pizza, and it's is actually it good? pretty good because it doesn't have a red sauce. It's just cheese and mac yeah. and cheese. Yum. Um, it's actually just, pretty um, good. Yeah. I'll have to try Do they put like pizza cheese over the mac and cheese, like like a sandwich kind of thing, or is it just like the dough? and then mac and cheese I think it's like dough cheese and then mac and cheese and then it's like cooked so the mac and cheese is kind of like crispy so it's like a baked mac and cheese I'm intrigued by this I actually I enjoyed it (laughs) which is weird for me because I don't like pizza but it didn't taste like pizza it tastes like deep fried mac and cheese Mm -hmm. so delicious uh Ariel do you have an opinion I do have one since I used ones earlier for everybody else. Um, I do not like egg salad sandwiches. Yeah. I don't um, either. 
fair. I used to like them, except during college, I got food poisoning. Um, thank oh. you, cafeteria. Appreciate mm. you. Yeah. I ended up getting it immediately, like an hour after eating a sandwich, and it was a horrific experience. Yeah. Yeah. What What makes things a salad? So like. There's egg salad, chicken salad, like potato salad, like I think it's the mayonnaise. Salad. Yeah, I was just gonna mayonnaise. say the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise. But here's the thing too, because a lot of people do salads. They can either do Miracle Whip or they do mayonnaise. A lot of people do the Miracle Whip and it's sweeter. And if you do the mm-hmm. mayonnaise, it's saltier. And I prefer the mayonnaise because of my weird sweet and salty thing. Mm. So I like a blend, <laughs> a balance. I guess that's I weird. Mm. I've never thought about mayonnaise on a salad. That is a thing though. I don't like yeah. the taste of mayonnaise though. So when I make chicken salad, I make my own like mix with the eggs and mustard and oil and stuff. So I, I make it homemade. So yeah, oh, we're gonna have silence. To great. Somebody's yelling cool. at me now. <laughs> um, Can I add mayonnaise to anything and make it a salad? Yes. You think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That pizza salad is just like chunks of pizza or like. Pizza with squares with mayonnaise. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pizza roll. <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh, we've, so we've been a little long-winded today, but I did have two other opinions I wanted to throw out there that I would say are very unpopular. Um, the second is that I prefer cold weather to warm weather. Like I, mm. I think cold weather is better. Mm. I would agree yeah. in fall, I prefer, but not winter. Winter can die. <laughs> it, it could be fall all year round and I never complain like I don't need it to get up to 80 ever no thanks I like the snow I like snow I don't like shoveling like <laughs> winter I don't yeah, like shoveling stinks, but... like feats of like snow I don't like that but like if there's just a little bit of snow everywhere I like that I don't like driving in it uh, yeah Agreed. it's just because we live in Ohio and it sucks mm-hmm because there's so just many things so happen because of, of Ohio. Yeah, we talk about beaches. <laughs> we just earlier. like everything because we live in Ohio. <laughs> yes. Um, and so, like my last opinion, I I guess I haven't really talked to Ingo yet, besides probably Nathan, and I think he agreed with me <laughs> that like I I don't think guys should wear flip flops or like I, ever just in I general. Say sandals too. Do you not like the way their feet look? Yes, that is exactly why. I don't like seeing guys' feet. Did Nathan ruin it for you? <laughs> wow. No. no. Well, I don't, I don't own any flip-flops or sandals, so I guess I, I perpetuate her belief. Say that I don't think I've, like, rarely seen your feet without socks or shoes on. Yeah. I like socks. Um, no, I just don't like guys' feet. And I, it probably stems from, like, other, like, I'm not used to seeing normal guys feet I guess I'll say my dad has super super short toes so all of my siblings and me have super short toes we don't have long toes at all and then I have an uncle whose toes are like as long as your fingers and I think that could go for girls too like do you like girls wearing flip-flops because some girls have some nasty feet it it doesn't usually bother me if I see it on women unless like the whole woman herself is like unsightly <laughs> i don't know <laughs> if guys painted their nails would it look better no because they probably didn't also shave their feet so it'd just be hairy and then there's also nail polish and i think that would just freak me out more sounds like you're just shaming hobbits <laughs> yeah i don't know it's just my opinion i don't think guys <laughs> should wear flip-flops <laughs> it creeps me out no barefoot Bring so what do you do when you go to the pool or something? You like shield your eyes and be like, don't go to the pool. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I have to see you guys <laughs> without shoes on. Oh, that's another reason not to go to the beach, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> guys aren't wearing shoes. No. <laughs> okay. It's all the sand. <sighs> see? Oh, I know. I made that reference earlier. <laughs> oh, already? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my unpopular opinion. <laughs> she doesn't like the beach because of the sand. Oh, and so Have many other things. Like the sand. Beach? I've been to gravel beaches, yeah. What's it like? Painful. Oh. <laughs> you definitely need <laughs> shoes on that, for sure. <laughs> you can't sit or walk or do anything. They're yeah, not even really pretty. I don't know. 
coincidentally, I don't know, uh, when I went to that gravel beach, next to it was a nude portion of that beach. That oh. was not good. So that also oh. cemented oh, the gosh. idea that you should, one should not go to the beach. <laughs> Wait, there's a nude beach on the gravel beach? Next to it, yeah. God, that sounds yeah. horrible. It's bad now walk around there. <laughs> They're going to get cut up, man. <laughs> what are you up. doing? Maybe they get a hot stone massage. So if you think about it, <laughs> the sun, oh, that's you know, what I should I should just lay on it and it. had a, that's I a good idea. I don't think about it anymore. They might be onto something. <laughs> Free massage, hot stone massage. Those are expensive depending that on where you are. That could be our side gig. You know, we should just take those to the beach. Mm. Mm. Just, it'd be free. You know, just take a it bunch of be. those big rocks, get those rocks that you do rock painting with. And we're yes. just going to heat them up at the beach and just, you know, you could. do That'd some chakras and stuff. Yeah. I could go for that. That does sound All right. Nice. That's the next venture. Spa day with the library. Because this podcast will pay us nothing. Okay. That's true. <laughs> and, you know, we probably, we've been on for a little bit, so we'll wrap it up. Everybody's hungry. We're hitting 1230 here. Um, so we'll just go through the last little bits here we got written down. We wanted to give a shout out to Genoa Library is starting a, a new book club in October, and it's called True Crime Tuesday. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're into the macabre mystery of true crime, um, then I think you'll enjoy this. this uh, oh, book club. yeah. It's for also for fans of Anne Rule, you know, Dateline, My Favorite Murder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's also what's going to happen is we're going to provide a list of podcasts, books, TV shows, movies, all about cases. So you can pick from your favorite media and then watch it, read it, and then come back and discuss. Mm -hmm. which I think is pretty cool. They're going to have multiple formats. And there is a correction from the sheet that um, we had, I didn't mention earlier, Sierra, but they meet oh, on the fine. first Tuesday of each month. Oh, okay. So the first meeting that they're going to have is an informational session. It's going to be on October 26th. And this is just to explain how things are going to work, um, expectations, guidelines, all that stuff. So then when you guys come back in November, then you'll be reading, I'll be gone in the dark. Da, da, da. <laughs> and there's a bunch of stuff with that. So it's going to be exciting. So I'm excited. If I'm not what working, case does that one relate to? Um, does it have a specific person? There's like a lot of things. Um, I can look that up really quick. I thought it was the that Golden was State Killer is what I thought it was. Oh, cool. I, yeah. I believe you're right. We've started a couple of different um, book groups too. We started this one um, about a month or yes. so ago we also started a, a hometown pride book group as well so it talks yeah. about lgbtq authors and books about stuff like that so that's also a very inclusive welcoming book group as well um and pretty much so all of the books of um that we talk about uh can be found on either hoopla or libby if you want to go a digital version or an audiobook version uh you can do that and you will write that book is about the golden state killer so, yeah. So, look forward to that. If I'm not working, I'm going to try to join. But if I have and, time. and there'll be more um, stuff too in the programs portion that oh, you guys yes. can listen to as well. Yeah, you can. All that good stuff. Over on our YouTube page, we've got all of our uh, program videos. But a last bit, I'm glad there's more people here for it, except Nathan already knows what it is. It's time for <laughs> Word Scientist. Mm -hmm. Um, and I did put, I listed two on the page because I kind of already knew what the first one was. Uh, so the first word is wonky. So you guys know what wonky is? I sure do. Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've used that before in a sentence. Yeah. So I can look up the technical. I was going to say, definition. I think the technical, isn't it like off center? You know, it's not like even. Yeah. So it's crooked, off center, or askew. Um, I love the word askew. So, yeah, I kind of knew that one. So we're like, oh, we'll pick a, you know, the next one on the list of word scientists. And then Nathan has also provided us a more in-depth look into what that word is. And it is misanthrope. Did I say that right? I have heard of this word. I'm not confident, though, on the actual definition. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> misanthrope it reminds me of like um lycanthropy that's what it reminds me of i don't know why <laughs> both got a throat in it 
<laughs> yeah, I guess it reminds me of, you know, people that think that they're werewolves. Yeah, the that's what I was thinking of too. <laughs> I was like, that's I know that I'm not the only one. Uh, so, uh, so maybe it's someone who doesn't you know, think I'm they're a uh, werewolf. <laughs> They misidentified? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, miss would miss be like... I don't know. You could break it down. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, so like miss is usually like not liking something or it's something it's, like that. And then it's like not what you think. Well, your throat, your throat part, I think for werewolf, isn't that like part human, part um, werewolf? So what's the throat part? Is that the human part? Uh... I guess so. Yeah, because like lichen from the other word is the like, word for wolf. It's for wolf. Right. I get your Latin out, kids. <laughs> <laughs> so we think the throat from this word also means the human part. I would, I so would think so. Like, so it's so like not liking humans or not liking um, humans, not of humans. You guys are basically. Oh, are we close? You're pretty close, yeah. Oh. This is, see, this is the kind of the thing I wanted to do with word scientists because I kind of suggested Yay. it. I like the idea of breaking down words and seeing where like certain parts come from, prefixes, suffixes, and the eight other things that there are as well. Right. Um, um, but trying <laughs> to break down words, words and figure out kind of where they come from and like how they're used is pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Did you list all of that? Can I go to your list? Yeah, you can go look at, you can check out the graphic now. All right, so let's go see. So we're right. Uh, uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you want to check out Ariel too, I sent it to you. Sorry, Jen, I didn't know you're gonna be here, so I don't. Well, that's I don't okay. Have it, yeah, so that's why I, I like, like oh, this yeah. game. Yeah, or if you want to do the share screen, you, you can. You want also me to? Sh- yeah, I could do that. that. Might really Let easier. Let me share my screen, and you can see there's his word scientist graphic. I know if you're listening, Ooh. you can't see it, but we're gonna read everything off for you. So it's yeah. Just- yeah, it's it's like human kind idea. and avoids human society. Yeah, I love it. Person who dislikes humankind. The misanthrope was also a 17th century French comedy by I can't read that. Oh, Molaire. Yeah, Molaire in 1666. It comes from uh, the Greek misen, which means to hate, and anthropos, anthropos, which mm-hmm. means man. So to hate man. Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. Because it's oh, also so. like, like you get the missing or the miss part kind of like with words like misogyny mm-hmm. or right. things like that, where you're like, that means to hate women. Mm-hmm. So that's where the miss okay. comes from. And then like anthropos is man. Okay. This so like means... anthropomorphism, if you ever heard of that word, that means that's when you're making things like usually animals, but like there's also like objects and stuff when you're trying to make it more human. Like giving okay. it faces or human appendages or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Its yeah, synonyms in uh, include cynic, naysayer, and pessimist. I love that word, naysayer. Naysayer. Mm-hmm. People you don't say, say that me. enough. <laughs> I say me. 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 I love that graphic. I think that's awesome. Thanks. You'll have to do this every time we'll share oh, I know. people that, that's that, my goal. that watch on YouTube. <laughs> Because it is fun. I would say, uh, Nathan and I do this quite often at work. We'll just be like, what does that word even mean? Like, where did it come from? Like, who started this? And then we'll just, well, he does most of the work, I guess. And I just question him. It's, Are it's any of you guys very awesome. misanthrope? Uh, um, maybe yes. occasionally, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I would say, I think more of everyone right now within this past year has been one for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, I feel like as I've gotten older, I've just like lost faith in humanity where you're just like, why are people so like this? Mean? Yes. Yeah. It's just, there's Each just other. no reason to be the way people are sometimes. Yeah. I feel like that's mostly um, online people though. There's, yeah. there's an unpopular opinion. It's just on, people online are mean. Well, I feel like, like I have more hope in real life people, you know? They feel like they have the Absolutely. ability, like, it's not going to come back to bite them if they, like, bash people online. Whereas, like, you probably wouldn't have the courage to do that to somebody's face. Mm-hmm. So I agree for sure. Yeah. I feel, I feel that. But we want to say thank you to all of our great guests that have come on here today. Yeah. It's great to uh, meet some new faces that you guys probably haven't seen or heard on the podcast yet, um, but you can find them at the 
Genoa Library. We're here at Elmore. Um, and Nathan, I don't know if we introduced you, uh, but he is the one that edits all of our podcasts for us and he does yeah. a great job of it. Um, so whether you're listening or you're watching on YouTube, um, yeah, this has been fun. I am very hungry. Um, yeah, go eat, but this is fun. One of my favorite games. Oh yeah, I love watching these on YouTube. So I was really excited to be able to do this with, with all you guys here. We've got yeah. lots of great stuff. Um, planned for the next couple of months here on the podcast so we're excited about that so i can't wait to see everything in the edit (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. right silence silence, guys y'all fell asleep on me all right oh we're waiting for the the professional uh sayonara you know Uh, i was waiting for ariel to jump in and she's just sitting there but it's okay i I thought you were gonna say something so i was like get it girl do I never thought do. about it, but do you guys have a special way you always say like goodbye, or is it just kind of like oh bye, or oh I, I never really we, thought about the end. I would say we struggle every month with it. Usually, you I edit. It. What, I was like, you edit it, don't you notice? Uh, <laughs> sometimes though, don't sometimes we just after say an hour of editing stuff? I think we just say like see you next like, time or something like that. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for watching another episode of the Harris Elmore and Genoa Branch Libraries. See you later. You maybe later. maybe you need like some closing music or something like the Oscars. Like when you talk too long and they start putting the music on, you gotta wind it down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think we keep it pretty short though when we just say thanks so much for watching another episode. I think that is pretty much the ending. I don't know if I've ever said toodles, but I like that. Toodles. We just kind of that reminds me of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah. We should, yeah, we need words Hot for dog. how to say goodbye in every language, and then we'll just choose. Oh no! Everyone. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Need a Zane. There's one. There we go. How do you? Oh, I don't even know how to say it in um, Japanese. Aloha. Oh, sayonara. That's it. That's goodbye. Bless you. Nope. I mean, all I remember <laughs> is thank you. Oh, only <laughs> amigato. <laughs> yes, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, well, do we have to do it again or was that good? <laughs> Maybe I... we'll do one more just so it's a little bit easier to edit. Okay. Check out our socials. Thanks. Check out our YouTube. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget this to smash fun. that like button. I'm just the guest. <laughs> That's right. Plug everything. Give us a thumbs up. We feel good when we see a thumbs up. Leave a comment. It makes us feel good. <laughs> Mm, click that bell if you want notifications every time we put a new video up. Yeah. Same. Tell a friend. Yay. And uh, we'll <laughs> see you. Friend. Yeah, thanks for listening and watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.